Plant 6, a huge pot bust. Police in DeKalb County say it's unlike anything they've seen in recent memory. Good evening to you. I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. DeKalb County deputies seized more than 100 marijuana plants from a home in Butler. And one neighbor says she's not surprised. News Channel 15's Adam Widener went up to DeKalb County to look into last night's bust. He joins us live in News Control tonight with the latest. Adam. Well, Mark and Heather, one neighbor says that there was a lot of suspicious activity surrounding that home. And considering the amount of kids around that area, she's thankful that operation is no more. There was lots of traffic daily in and out of there. A little before 11 last night, Sherry Fry noticed several police cars next door. I was surprised there's so many of them over there. But she wasn't surprised why they were there. An anonymous tip led them to a DeKalb County drug operation unlike anything they've seen in a while. We had about 100 plants, uh, all watered by a uh, hydroponics system uh, where that's watering the roots. All that looked like had been fertilized rather well and uh, was pretty impressive operation. Some of the plants were reported to be around four feet tall and worth up to $4,000 each. Officers think the entire operation is worth around $100,000. I think it's a substantial dent in the market. Uh, I hope that we've done our part as far as taking care of uh, the drug problem here in DeKalb County, and I hope that we continue to do so. Neighbors are thankful it's out of their area. The school is only a mile and a half down the road, so it's a good thing that, that it's now over with. There's lots of kids in the neighborhood and stuff, so... That's great that our kids are safe now. While police chalk it up to an important victory in an area meant to be drug free. It's not a never a good situation when you have drugs near a high school or any school for that matter. And uh, one's out of the way now. Now police also seized about six hunting rifles from that home. As for that suspect, he wasn't home at the time and police say that he's still on the loose. They have a couple people of interest, so they say that they will continue their investigation. Live in News Control, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.